Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm not sure if this video is going to be quite echoey because I'm in my new room and there's not a whole lot going on in here as you can see. My bed is there and the window is there so other than having the wardrobe behind me um, this is pretty much going to be the best place to film. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's not too echoey. I am full of a cold, so obviously my voice sounds amazing anyway. But as you can see by today's title, today's video is my January favourites, which is pretty much going to be my favourite presents that I got for Christmas. <laughs> because there was pretty much things I got for Christmas. And it's not a lot because I've really, really narrowed it down. January, I didn't really do a lot. Um, yeah, so. But I'm just gonna jump in and then I'm just gonna fill you in on some things at the end of the video. So, my first favorite, I'll start with the lip duo that I'm wearing. These, neither of these were actually for Christmas, so that's a good start. I went, I can't remember when I went to the traffic center, but I went into Kiko, obviously, and the Kiko, whatever these lipsticks are, um, they're like £1.90, £2.90, something like that. I absolutely love them and this is the shade 925 which is a really nice warm brown. Obviously a Lushan shade, it's quite a dark warm brown. And then on top of that I have this lip gloss which is by Revolution which you get from Superdrug in the My Sign and it is in the Capricorn colour and no I am not a Capricorn but I just really like the look of this colour so I bought it and these together make this gorgeous cream warm nude and I absolutely love it. Alone they both look really nice and um, I wore this alone on Boxing Day for a night out, it looked really good and then I just paired them together and it's just like amazing. So those are my go-to lip duo at the minute. Now for some reason I ended up having a really bad breakout and my skin has been really good for about a year um, but I had a breakout and I've now got two really annoying scars on my chin so I needed a more industrial <laughs> concealer and I went to NYX because I love NYX and I picked up their Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in CJ05 Medium and I really love this concealer. I have actually used this under my eyes and it doesn't even crease. I'm so confused. So I am actually going to go out and get this in a lighter shade so I can highlight under my eyes because it's pretty much the same colour as my skin but it covers up my scars and it covers up veins underneath my eyes and all that stuff and I really like it. I feel like I said and a lot in that previous sentence. But yes, I love that concealer. Now, my foundation of the moment has been the Urban Decay, oh, I just bit my cheek, all nighter, waterproof, long wearing liquid foundation. I seriously tested this in Edinburgh. I had a nap in it, I showered in it, I, I literally did everything I could to really see how good this foundation was and However, look how much I have used already. I'm hoping that it's showing up on camera. It's looking as though it is. So I am worried that I'm gonna go through this way too quick. On a daily, I am now using less just because I don't wanna run out. But I, I feel like I go through products really quick. So other than it's looking like I'm gonna use it pretty quickly, I love this. And I'm in the shade 5.0 really really enjoy this foundation now I have a new highlighter of the moment I did get this in a Christmas box and it is by Ilamasca it is the beyond powder in OMG and yeah I literally have not used another highlighter since I got this this is literally all I've been using every day I think I wore um, champagne pop once but it is what is on my face today and I just love it I'm not going to say anymore it's all I used and for my eyes obviously it's all I've used again 
It is the Cole Morello Exciade palette and again, this top row of shades is just every day. Like, why why would I need anything else? And then for a night out, let's add some purple, you know, or some glitter on the lid. I, I, yeah. You can pretty much see the indentations in them because it's all I've used. I am actually not lying. And then, <laughs> I have a new nighttime routine. Um, I use this Ren Wake Wonderful Nighttime Facial. It smells like oranges. Again, I got this in a Christmas box. And on my lips, I have the Australian Nourishing Lip Balm. This is actually from Paris. Um, my CC and Kate got it me when she was in Paris like a while back. But this has literally been my every night routine. And weirdly enough, and my skin is still pretty dry. I have, I'm going through a weird, my skin is oily, but flaky, I don't get it, but I still love these, <laughs> I love this for an eye cream, maybe I need a daily moisturiser, anyways, I'm not sure, but I wake up in the morning and my skin is nice and shiny, my lips are nice and moisturised, and I'm just ready to take on the day and put my face on, and I'm enjoying it, and then, my energies. Since the 20th of December, I have worn a different pair of shoes, I kid you not, five times. If it wasn't any of those five times, I have worn these. Still the same. I love them. I have started to wear other things because I feel like I'm going to ruin them because I literally have them on every day. Um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to limit it to like twice a week because I feel like my toes might poke through the bottom of them or something. But that is my January favourites. Now obviously I have another new favourite and if you don't follow me on Instagram uh, you won't be aware that I have now got a public Facebook so I will leave that link down below and da -da 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 -da. I've started a blog! So if you go to www.lll.com, you will come to my site. So far I've got on there, I think, three posts, um, but I'll leave my Facebook and my website down, my website, <laughs> my website down below. Feel free to leave me any post suggestions in the comment section. Obviously I'm going to have a little write-up of today's video on there, but yeah, anything else you want me to do, just leave it in the comment section. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next week. Bye!